This is the new Laveau headrest cart, um, which needs to be plugged in at all times. Um, there's a cord that runs uh, through the cart to the top drawer where you'll find the arm. The arm is, again, needs to be charged at all times to plug it in. It's just on the back here. Red light means that the battery is um, needs to be charged and the green means it's charging. Um, so you will find all of that in the top drawer plugged in. Um, you'll also need your um, Mayfield clamp as well to use the Lavo headrest. In the second drawer, you will find the dual motion base unit, um, which goes onto your table. In the third drawer, you will find the handles um, and the clamp adapter which is compatible with the Mayfield headrest and the Doro headrest. And when the adapter is not attached to the headrest, it must be placed in the same tray in drawer three of the cart. In drawer four, you will find the elevated chest pad and it has um, a little divot in it for the, um, to allow for the sternal notch. Um, you will also find a additional uh, charging cord for the arm, which was found in the first drawer. Um, this charging cord can be used if you were to come to the cart and the battery has been drained. You can plug this cord into uh, a tower or up at the head of the bed and plug it into the arm while it's being used for the case. But that is all kept here in the fourth room. To use the logo headrest, you have to make some changes to your table. Um, first thing you'll do is remove the plastic face plate and then relocate the chest pad, move it down. And then, so you're going to remove your um, base unit from the second drawer of the Laveau cart. Um, there is a two lock mechanism. You're gonna push down on the silver lever and lift up on the blue bar. And then you have your second lock with the silver on top. So you're gonna do that on both sides. Carry it over the, to the table by the blue handles or locks. You place it on the table. Blue locks will go down. You'll move it up towards the head of the bed. And then you'll push down on the second lock to lock it in place. Um, then you will lift the blue handles here and you want to align the um, notch on the bar above the um, arrow with the diamond on the base unit. That should be the position the um, base unit's placed in prior to um, moving the patient over. So to summarize, you have the longitudinal transition, you have the lateral transition, and uh, just um, pay attention, special attention, every blue lever is a lock. So this um, base unit has the double lock, but one of the locks is blue. Then you have your um, longitudinal transition, which um, locks when you push the blue levers down, and then your lateral transition, which locks when you um, push the blue handle up. So also you have the knob on the side, once you place the arm in, um, you'll lock with the blue knob. You'll lock it by turning the blue knob. Unit on the bed, you'll um, go to the cart, remove the arm after pulling out the uh, charging cord. Um, you want to make sure that you pick it up 
so you can handle it because um, it is not light. Then you'll take it over to the bed and you will um, hold it with the handle up and slide it into the lateral transition. And then you wanna turn the blue knob on the side to lock it in place. And then again, the lateral transition, now you can move, um, the surgeon can move the head side to side. After placing the arm on the table, you're gonna get your adapter out of the third drawer, um, which again fits on the Mayfield and the Doro headrest. Um, you're gonna hold the silver tab and you'll see there's a picture diagram of the dial and then the clamp, um, and that's the direction it should be facing. Um, you're gonna center it, and then you're gonna turn the blue knob because blue is how you're gonna lock everything into place. Once the clamp has been placed on the patient's head, you're going to um, transfer the patient over to the table. The surgeon will be holding uh, or securing the head um, and the clamp that he has just placed. Um, and the patient is turned prone. The blue dial will always be facing anesthesia. So the patient will be turned onto their stomach with the blue dial still facing anesthesia and your circulator will raise the arm and they'll meet. The blue knob is twisted to lock it in place. So the last step is return to the cart and take the handle out of the third drawer and you're going to place it on the frame with the handles facing up like a bicycle you're gonna slide it in, lock it in place, noting that this is not a blue knob. <laughs> Rather, it's gray, but you have the little lock symbol on it, and it's locked in place, and you're ready to go. So the surgeon will um, use the handles to position the patient's head. Um, the blue buttons, so you're familiar with how it works, the blue buttons pressed in at the same time will unlock it, and then the left, um, blue, lighter blue button at the top of the handle on the patient's left and my left will um, allow the patient's head to be moved from side to side, left to right, and the um, right the handle or the blue button on the top of the right handle will allow you to move the patient's head up and down. So as you can see, just pressing it slightly caused it to kind of jerk. So this has to be done very carefully, um, which the surgeon will operate or he will be directing um, staff to assist him.